Whenever I think of glasses, I think of the Arthur episode when he gets glasses and everyone calls him Four Eyes. Arthur's a Four Eyes! Arthur's a Four Eyes! If you didn't watch Arthur as a child, you don't have a childhood. Just saying. friends, welcome to or back to my channel. If you've never been here before, hi, my name is Shauna and you should definitely subscribe because we're really close to 1k and that'd be really cool if we hit that milestone. But if you have been here before, you're probably noticing something a little different. And if you're wondering, the answer is yes. I got my hair done. I'm just kidding. Obviously, you can tell by Tyler's video, I got glasses. I've never had glasses before. I've worn um, fake prescription ones like for pictures and stuff and also from... Firmo, yep, you guys guessed it. This video is sponsored by Firmo, the best online optical store you will ever find. I meant to vlog my whole experience getting glasses because for me it was kind of, it was new, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people that I know anyways, maybe I just don't know a lot of people and this is just normal, but a lot of people that I know have glasses either got it when they were a kid, like when they were young, teen and all that, or when they're adults, right? When your vision kind of gets a little worse. So me being 18 and just getting glasses was kind of like, it was different for me because it was, I didn't really know what to expect and it's not like I was just a kid throwing on glasses. And I meant to vlog it all when I was shopping for glasses and all that and getting my eyes checked, but like, <laughs> I didn't realize how awkward that was gonna be because I wasn't just gonna you know, whip out my camera when the optometrist is just checking my eyes and that would just be really weird. So then I was gonna plan the whole like shopping and looking for frames and all that stuff. I didn't realize when you go shopping, um, the sales associate or the autometr autom autometrist is like always with you, you know what I mean? And like they follow you around and like they're like, oh, check these glasses out, try these ones, what do you like, blah, blah, blah. It was not a good time, so I'm just making this sit down video where I'm going to talk about what it was like for me getting glasses and stuff like I found hard and like difficult. I don't know. I'm just going to talk about it. Um, with this whole glasses theme we got going on here, I actually have a giveaway for you guys that's sponsored by Fermo. So thank you to Fermo for this opportunity. So if you win, you actually get to choose what glasses you get. And like that's really cool because sometimes with giveaways, you're like, oh my god, a giveaway, but what they're giving away isn't really what you like. You know what I mean? So the really cool thing about this one is that you, the winner, not all of you because that would be a lot, get to pick what glasses you want so I have a link here I'll just show a little glimpse of it but there's all of these different types of glasses that you can choose from there's 271 different glasses to choose from if you win so if you want to pick your own pair of free glasses make sure you stay tuned to end this video to listen to all the rules of how to enter this giveaway and also to address the elephant in the room I don't really know if it is but I know I got new glasses and they're not from Fermo and this video is sponsored by Fermo it's just because I've never had glasses before as I said so I had to go to an optometrist in person you know what I mean and get my glasses and prescription from them you know I couldn't really do that online okay so back to my whole Whole getting glasses story so eyesight was kind of going bad in grade 12 but I didn't really say anything because it wasn't as bad and in, in high school the classrooms are kind of small anyway so even if you sit at the back you can pretty much see the board you know what I mean it would always be like a little fuzzy but I could make do but being in university the lectures are a lot bigger even if you're sitting in the front row the projector screen is still like it's far it's in the air not in the air but it's like it's up high it's still pretty far from you so every single day I found myself sitting closer and closer to the front of the screen because I couldn't read it. I would literally be in the second row for all of my classes, never the first row. We don't sit in the first row. No, 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 no. It takes a brave soul to sit in the first row of a lecture in university and I'm not that brave. I would never, mm -mm, no. But now I can sit, you know, back in the middle. I can chill. I don't have to worry about like sitting like this in the first row and looking all intellectual. When I got out of the store, I was literally like amazed. I was looking around because the store was in a plaza, so I was reading all of the signs, all of the whatever, everything in the plaza. I was mind blown of how clear things were and how much I could read like from far away. And this lady, like as I was like admiring the world, this lady um, who was outside, she was like, did you just get new glasses? And I was like, yeah, like, is it, is it that obvious? And then she was like, I can tell. And then I was like, uh, okay, kind of awkward. But then she was like, they look good on you or something like that. And I was like, thank you. And yeah, getting glasses is so overwhelming. Like you walk in and there's just hundreds of different glasses and it's like, you don't really know what's gonna suit your face that well. For me, for what I was told from like, um, friends and family and like dermatologists too, since I had a round face to kind of get like rectangular looking glasses. Cause if I get like circles kind of, gonna make my face look really chubby so I was looking for like some type of rectangular shape I got these glasses they're Gucci because I'm bougie yeah. but yeah they're just these black um, glasses they have the Gucci logo I'm not gonna get into depth of like whatever but yeah 
and a few things I just want to talk about. I don't know why. I don't know if anyone finds this entertaining, but I adjusted to glasses very awkwardly. Um, the only time I'm used to like wearing glasses for a long period of time is sunglasses. So when I get sunglasses, I always wear the tinted ones so no one can see my eyes. So a lot of the times, I don't know why, it was just like in my head when I'm wearing my glasses and I'm walking around. Mentally, in my head, it was like, it felt like I had sunglasses on and that no one could see my eyes. So I literally, I would stare at people and then I'd be like, oh my god, wait, they can see me. And it was, it was bad. I wouldn't stare at people to like be rude or whatever. It's like, you know what I mean? Just looking at someone, it's kind of like, <laughs> not judge, not judge. We don't judge here. This is a judge-free zone. Sometimes they would even look back at me like dead in the eyes. Like, oh, I forgot so many times that these are clear and that they're not sunglasses and that people can see my eyes. But yeah, it got me into a lot of awkward eye contact in situations, but I'm kind of getting better at it now. And another thing that I found really weird is that um, I have kind of like a flat nose. Not like flat, flat, but it's like, it's not like prominent, you know what I mean? Um, my family actually called me Lapad. In Filipino, in Visaya, it means flat nose because I have a flat nose. So all the time, my glasses are just slipping like this. And I look like this half the time. And I look like a librarian. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a habit. But instead of like, you know, just fixing it like this, I literally, I always go like this. Do you know how lame this looks? It, like, it'll slide down. My, I'm not even moving. Like, I'll be sitting in class and they just slowly slide down just like a tad. I don't know why, I always push it like this. And then while I'm like, at this point in my head, I'm like, I look like a loser. Like, what? Anyway, that's kind of my whole little spiel story thing about my glasses. It would have been more fun if it was a vlog, but it, it couldn't be, cause that would have been so awkward. So now we're gonna talk about the giveaway. So all you have to do is obviously one, be subscribed to my channel, cause this is for my subscribers. Number two, make sure you're following my Instagram at Shauna Diaz, I'll have it right here. And the third thing is just to comment down below that you entered and leave your Instagram, just so I can, one, check if you followed, and two, um, to contact you if you won. Those are the only three things you have to do at this giveaway, is be subscribed to me, follow my Instagram, and then comment down below that you've done that and with your Instagram. This giveaway is going to be open until this date here, because I haven't decided yet, and my camera is dying, so I'm going to decide later when I'm editing, but this giveaway ends on this date, right here. And yeah, thank you again to Fermo for sponsoring this video, and also sponsoring the giveaway. Make sure you guys go check them out on their Instagram, check out their website, it's honestly, it's an amazing store. They also have a really great deal going on, it's buy one get one free as low as $19. So check out my description box for that buy one get one free deal that's honestly amazing. And then also if you've never ordered from Fermo before I have another link in there for you. You can get your first pair for $4.95. So yeah that's kind of the end of the video. Good luck to you if you enter the giveaway. Make sure you go subscribe. We're really really close to 1k and I can't wait to hit 1,000. That's gonna be like mind-blowing. Anyways thanks for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Put your hand